G'day folks, welcome to Space Engine, uh, this is a, um, uh, not a game but actually a simulator where you just basically um, observe the observable universe basically and the point of this video is to, well, I looked at uh, videos online how people find Earth in the Milky Way and a lot of, um, a lot of people struggle with that, but I found a way, but, you know, in the case, I just thought it would be interesting to show, because uh, I've done it a few times, so I'm not quite good at it. So anyways, this is Space Engine. You can really go, um, I just wanted to show you what it's like, though. You, you can move anywhere, you can move time. Let me just zoom out. Show you how far away, how far, how, you know, Big the observable is <laughs> the observable universe. I'm also into space, so you know this is obvious. Obviously, a simulator I love, though. There's the Milky Way. And there's all the other galaxies. Quite insane, isn't it? <laughs> it's uh, true, though. This keeps going on. All right, so I just want to get to. Just get to the. Uh, no, game, I want you to. Alright, there we go. Okay, so I'm not gonna click on anything, I'm just gonna literally find Earth, like, for you here. And just give me a second as I turn up my screen brightness. Because uh, it is daytime and, you know, the light glare is coming in, so it'll be hard for me. Especially when it's all, like, mostly black and stuff. Okay, so how I find Earth in the Milky Way. It's quite, you know, difficult because there's billions of stars, right? Okay, so what I do is you see these two little smaller galaxies, these um, large Magellanic clouds? You line them like this, you have the, the big one on the right side like that, that's how you do it. And then the second thing we want to do is you want to find... I'll turn that sound down, by the way, if it's too loud. Give me a second. It is quite loud. Put down to seven. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I want to find is the uh, one of the nebulas called the Carina Nebula, just right here. There it is. Okay, so. Look at it from this angle. Now, it's in one of these arms here. Pretty sure it's around here. And it's in a dark portion as well. I think it might be here. Which one is this one? I don't know which nebula that is. Ah, here we go. This looks very familiar. Ah, okay, then the next thing you want to find is the uh, Plagueis, or Pladius, I don't know the, pronounce, the correct name of it is, but it's the one that has the seven sisters, the seven blue stars, this is the one here. So that was the next thing. So now that means I'm close. And so after that, what I find next is, um... I find a group of uh, stars that's a bunch of blue giants. Oh, okay, this is another nebula here, but I don't even know which one that is called, because I'm not trying to click on anything. So I'm trying to make this legit as possible. Because I, I, I did watch another tutorial and um, I mentioned this one, but I don't know exactly. So look at it from a distance, yeah, this seems to be about right, yeah. Ah, here we go. So from where I am in Australia, I can actually see, well, obviously some stars, but uh, obviously remember, you know, a certain type. Like, I, I can only see, like, the blue giants and, you know, the bigger stars, all the ones close. And, um... I just remember where they like are placed at. So I'm looking at it from here. 
Because you know our flag, Australian flag, yeah, it's got that. It's got those stars on it, so that's how I find Earth. Okay, this looks right. No. Oh, here we go. I just had to see if the... I think let's believe the Star Cruise is there. It's got to go in the right spot. So now I'm really close. So now all I have to do is find... A, just find two stars close together, like around here. Oh no, that's not there. That's not there. Oh, this seems about right. Nope. Yeah, this will take some time. Let's give me a give me a minute. Or maybe I have to zoom closer. I'm so close. I know I'm so close. I'm just trying to find the right Right one, this might be it. Is it here? No. God damn it, which one is this one? <laughs> so what I'm basically trying to do, I'll explain it again. Um, I'm trying to align the stars correctly, because once I find the Korean Nebula and then the, uh, the Platius Nebula, I'll just f go to the spot here. Because these are the stars over in that direction, which I can actually see in the sky. Uh, maybe it's here. Maybe it's a bit closer. Oh. Oh, I think I found it. I think I did. I just had to go a bit closer. Now, I think that's serious right there. I'm not going to click on it. That's Alpha Centauri right there. And this should be our, our sun. Here we go. Oh, just went past it. It's hard when you're not, if you don't know how far away you are from it. To be quite precise. Yeah, there we go. This looks very familiar. Maybe a bit closer. See, the speeds I'm traveling is like hundreds of times the speed of light, and the distance between stars is just so insane. Okay, a bit closer. Oh, there we go. I see the planets. Now, it's the third planet from the sun, which should be right here. That should be... Um, Mercury. That should be Venus. And this should be Earth right here. Yep, it's got a moon right there. That should be it. Yep. I found Earth. <laughs> so that's how I do it, basically. And when I look out my window at night, that's those are the stars I can see uh, over there. Like this Alpha Centauri, Argina, Crucis, Australis. I don't know the other ones. I don't remember the names, but I know most of them. It's my home country. Actually, you know what? I should put it on the correct time. Where are we currently at? Oh, over here. Okay. So I just set the right time in the right position. Alright, well that's going to do it for this video, just basically showing how you find Earth in the Milky Way, because honestly, like, you know, it's, you, you think, how would it even be possible? Like a needle in a haystack, basically. But if you know the nibblers and stars, it's, it, it gets easy, you eventually find a way, just look at the, the amount of them. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, well, just let me know in the comments below 
because uh, my viewers haven't really seen this and you know when I upload something I haven't done it either gets a lot of views or not but my viewers are just oh it's something new but anyways if you're interested in this and you'll miss if you want to make it see me make a stream of space engine uh, just let me know I could just go around and look at things and explore the observable universe because I, you know, I go on this sometimes, it's really calming. But anyways, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time in another video. So until then, have a good day.